shaking him, see if he's still shaking his head. I actually shook his head more. Yeah, he did. I saw it shake a little bit on the rod. Hey, buddy. Make me grab that crankbait pretty quick. Get out of the way. Pin him good. That's the kind you like to. Yeah, that, that fish, he could have done a four backflip. He'd have caught him anyway. Good deal. Maybe there's a herd of them up there. When it comes to Lake Hampstead, I've had a couple of great, um, you know, legendary tutors that I've learned a lot from on fishing this this body water. Uh, body water. Ray Hanselman and Mike Hox, they're legendary <laughs> South Texas anglers that are have been on this body of water for a long time, and, and I was real fortunate to learn a lot of things from them and, and other tournament anglers as well in the area about how this body of water sets up, about how nomadic these fish can be. And you know, that may make it sound a little bit dire when you're trying to come out here and go fish because the fish are on the move, but it's also a challenging piece of the puzzle. But the best thing about Amstead is it's simply full of bass. Okay. The bite, the better one there. The keeper. I have to go right in there behind you. <laughs> yeah, I would. There might be a little covey over there. Kind of over here where we had a couple of those other bites. Not too far. Kind of a... Long old fish there. Yeah, yeah. It's just good to get to where you can catch them again out here. I know. I've, I've had... Uh, it's been so long since it's been good. It seemed like the last week, the last four days I fished. You know, we had our best 20 weight, done, like 105 pounds. Wow. I don't recall doing that years ago. I know we did, but golly, it's just fun. There's a little better one. Thank you. You got one? He's shrinking. Same, same line I caught that other one on. A little better. Bigger than brother. They're growing up in size. <laughs> You know, fishing with Ray Hanselman one time over here in a pre-spawn situation, I mean, it was right about the time of the year that the fish were really going to go to the bank. We were, uh, you know, Ray had us kind of positioned following some drains and some contours in an area that he had he had located a lot of fish. And he, I, one thing I've learned from Ray over the years, drains and ditches, he loves to follow those. And, you know, we were mixing it up, throwing big crankbaits, throwing soft plastics in there, throwing a mix of baits in there. and. You know, as often is the case when you're in that pre-spawn, when you find those fish, you can really get a lot of bites. And in this type of a situation, uh, you know, when we would hit one of those ditches, hit one of those bins, hit a drop off, and those fish were in there, I mean, we caught some really big fish. I'm gonna jump. Oh yeah, there's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna get right back in that same drain. Probably a school of them over there. Usually they, they're gonna jump again. That's what you're looking for at Amstead for the future. Yeah. Oh! He's feeling pretty feisty. That's got to make you feel so good as, a, as somebody who guides and seen this lake through its ebbs and fall, you know, ups and downs, and to see, it, start to see fish like that. It does. I mean, we, you know, I guess they, what they say, patience is a virtue. And these are just healthy, thick. Everybody thought they died, but they just been out. So you look at your all your guide pictures right now, what everybody's catching. I mean, they're you know you're you're bringing in fish like that almost every day, right? Yeah, now. limits of them. Well, that's 